Hey guys, welcome to our YouTube channel. Today we are going to solve our skill track daily challenge using Python programming language. Before going to logic, if you didn't subscribe to our channel, then subscribe right now and make our work more meaningful. First, we'll understand our question. The program has to accept the R cross C integer matrix as the input and then swap the integers in the first half of the first column with the second half of the last column and then swap the integers in the second half of of the second column with the first half of the last but one column and then swap the integers similarly we have it for the first half of the uh, third column with the second half of the so second half of the last but two column so similarly The program must print that is swap the integers till c slash to column. You have also given a note that r and c are always even. So First, we are going to walk up the R cross C integer matrix and then swap the integers in the first half of the first column with the second half of the last column and swap the integers in the second half of second column with the first half of the last but one column and then swap the integers in the first half of the third column with the second half of the last but two column. And similarly, the program must swap the integers till c divided by 2 column. And finally, the program must print the matrix as the output. And we have also given a note that r and c are always even. Now we'll take our first test case. So here they have given a 6 cross 6 matrix. And now we'll mark the first half of the first column and the second half of the last column so both are marked in yellow and then we'll mark the second half of the second column and the first half of the so and the first half of the last but one column and then we'll mark the first half of the third column and second half of the last but two column so now we have marked the things to be swapped so we'll swap this and to this that is First half will be moved to the second half of the last column and the second half of the last column will be first half of the first column. And then we'll swap the second half of the second column and first half of the last but one column. And then the first half of the third column with the second half of the last but two columns. So after swapping, the remaining will be same.
So the remaining elements will not change. And this will be our output. So the logic of the program is if the column mod 2 is equal to equal to 0 then if the row less than r by 2 that is if the row is 0 means then automatically this will be printed then matrix of r double slash 2 there is r divided by 2 plus column then so here we have this and c minus column minus 1 and for the else part we have matrix of row and column and else if the column mod 2 is not equal to 0 then the row that is if the row is less than r slash 2 then we are going to print the first half that is row column else we are going to print the other half that is matrix of r double slash 2 minus row And for column, it will be C minus column minus 1. So this is the main logic of this program. Now let us implement our program. First we will get the number of rows and columns. And then we will get the matrix. for row in range r and then now we are going to in some loops if it is necessary to swap or else we are going to print the elements as it is so for row in range r then for column in range c so if the column mod 2 is equal to equal to 0 that is if it is a first column or third column the first half must be swapped so if the row is less than r double slash 2 then we are going to print the matrix of the row double slash 2 plus row that is the respective elements of the first half to the respective column in the second half and use in argument in the in this else part that is we must print the matrix of row column and use and argument that is if it is in the second half of the column we must just print them and in this else part that is if column is not equal to zero that is if it is the second column or the fourth column then if the row less than r double slash 2 we must print 
the matrix of row column and use end argument that is will print as it is and if it is in the second half then we are going to swap it so matrix of r double slash 2 minus row column for column it is c minus column minus 1 so this will be printed with the with the respective elements to the first half of the column will be it will be swapped and then we'll use end document and finally we'll print new line so now let us run our program we'll pass our first is case so here we have got the correct output as you can see the first half of the first column and the last half the second half of the last column must have been swapped and similarly we have got the correct output now we'll pass our another test case so here here also we have got the correct output program has passed all our given test cases successfully. Hope you guys understand. Thanks for watching. See you next video.